Hey guys, how's everything going? Um, uh, today, let's continue our journey to this code. Uh, 543, diameter of binary tree. We're given this kind of binary tree. You need We need to compute the length of the diameter of the tree. The diameter of a binary tree is the length of the longest path between two nodes in a tree. This path may or may not pass the, through the root. So we're given the root like this. The longest one obviously would be 4213 or 5213, which which pass through the root. Well, if there is some other atom, uh, child nodes to 5, like 6, and there is another like 7 here, and 8 here, something like this, the more elements on 4, 5, the longest one will be like this, right? So there's another possibility that the longest uh, path would not does not pass the root node. Well, for a for tree, the recursion is the first uh, solution comes to our mind. Let's consider what happens to what what, what the cases are for the root for the root node. And the, and uh, what's the relationship between this root node and the final, uh, the the longest path? And uh, based on that, maybe we can deduct some recursion solutions, right? So yeah, for if one is in there, if this node is in the final longest path, what happens? Well, so that's something like this, right? So the path is from some node in the left to some node in the right, right? But if the but the node must it means the from to uh, from the left side of this tree, we see that the path the left side of the path must start with one two to some some node, because it's we start from one, the longest one must be the depths right. Actually, for five six five for four, it doesn't matter which one is. So it is the height of this tree right. These are two edges, so the, the height will be two. And uh, to the right, uh, uh, the same. Yeah, so if the node is in the tree, then it must be the height of left tree plus the height of right tree, right? If it is not in the tree, then we can just remove this element, we remove this node, and we can do recursively check the longest path of the left subtree and the right subtree, right? Well, yeah, that's a recursion. That's the recursion function, recursion method solution, right? Well, we I'd like to create the favorite walk method of myself. Return, uh, I, I return. What we need to know is for this recursion of left tree and su uh, right tree, subtree, we will give just give return. Uh, the diameter, right? But for the case of the root node is in the tree, we need to get the height. So for each walk recursion method, we will not only we don't uh, we not only we will return the diameter, but also we need to return the height for the node, right? Yeah. Yeah. So now. Suppose this function is done, and uh, we can start work working on the left and the right, right? So the, which means left diameter, left height, walk, no left, right diameter, right height. Of course, for the, if node is uh, empty, return zero zero. Now for current node, as we said, there are two cases. The first one is uh, each of this biggest diameter, right? Return math max left diameter. Right diameter, and also there's a possibility that the node is in the path. That means the left height plus 
right height. We treat the height as the edges, at edge, right? So the for empty note, null, it's, it's zero, but for four, the height is one. For two, the height is two, and for one, well, its height is three. And uh, because we're checking the child note, uh, it seems no problem. For the note here, the height would be Uh, I mean, the, the, the height of each node will actually be used to calculate the uh, calculate the, the diameter of the parent, right? Yeah, for like we get the two, height of two and height of three, and we can just plus them. And uh, these actually, these edges are already counted. So yeah, this is the, the diameter of the new, the root node, and we need to return height. Well, height is simple. Which the big biggest one? Max left height, right height, right? But because we are counting the edges in the height, like for four, the height is one, and for two, the height must be one plus one. So the maximum plus one. And uh, we re need to return the first. First is diameter, right? Let's run the code. Yeah, I think it passes. So that what what's the time? Time is simple. Every we 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 just need to see the call tree of walk. For walk one, we need to walk two and three, and then walk four to five. Each node will actually be counted like for once, right? Space. Space, uh, we don't use any extra space. Uh, we actually return two elements of array. Two elements uh, return array, but uh, it will just be be uh, times by two for linear time, so it doesn't matter. The only space time we need space we need is the call stack. So the worst case is that all is a uh, worst cases is big O linear, right? So for call stack. Yeah, let's submit. Cool, we're accepted. And uh, yeah, that's all for this problem. Hope it helps. Uh, see you next time. Bye-bye.